In this video, I want to talk about the home dashboard and adding widgets that will provide you the information you need at your fingertips. So what we've done is we've cleared my dashboard and we're starting with a blank one. Please note, your dealership may have a default salesperson or default manager dashboard. And by clicking on the three little buttons at the top right, you can just select reset to default dashboard. I'm not going to because I'm going to start from a blank one. First things first, I would typically use a piece of paper and write down the kinds of information I would want to see on my home dashboard so I have a quick and easy way to navigate to different areas within DealerSocket. One of the first widgets I'm always going to add is a task-based widget called emails received. So it's under daily responsibility and I'm just going to go up to all emails received. I'll use this as an example. There's probably one with my emails received on your dealership. There's mine. There we go. I'm going to make it a two by three because I like it nice and, and long so I can see a list of customers. If you don't keep it as a two by two. So that's step one. Step two and uh, sorry uh, I should preface this with I work left to right. So emails received versus daily tasks are a little bit more important. That's an inbound email I need to get on. That's why it's on my home dashboard at the top left. Next widget, let's look again. Tasks, my open to do's today and older. I'll do a two by two as well. Okay, so now I've got emails received in my tasks. Please note, this email received task, if we had one in here, we'd also have one in my to do's. It would be the email received because it lives within your total to do's. I just like it because it's important to separate your emails from all the rest of your tasks. OK, so uh, in another video, I'm going to talk about your opportunity management and your sort of your salesperson workflow. And one of the things you're going to want to do on a daily basis is look at my open events to see exactly who am I working. And there you go. I have no emails, no tasks, but I'm working two opportunities. And so on a daily basis, you definitely want to come into your opportunities, your open events, and you want to work those leads and, and make sure the notes are there and make sure you have future tasks. Another widget, appointments. I want to look at my open appointments in a two by two. And there you have it. We've got four very basic but useful widgets to use. And from left to right, it's an order of importance. Emails received, get on them, finish my daily tasks. When those are done, review my opportunities. And then look at my open appointments that I have in the coming days. So it would it would list them today's appointments and any appointments into the future. A few other widgets I like to add are very basic ones. They're under the general tab. I kind of like to have the time. And I also like to have the general uh, quick up button there just for quick easy use to create a new customer. Now a few other widgets that I had to create on my own but are definitely useful in my opinion. Well sorry one I didn't have to create uh, the other uh, one I didn't create two I did. So under the sales tab there's something called completed sales tasks. I simply pick my team of Brandon Alexander make it a four by two hit save and I can see my completed tasks today to kind of see what I did today and then first you know compare that to my month to date. Okay, two more widgets I like. I had to create them under the appointments. I selected month to date uh, no show as a one by one. And I'm also going to add the uh, sorry appointments shows. So one is shows, one are no shows. You can add canceled, you can add still open, but all my open and confirmed should sit in here. And all my no shows and shows are going to sit in these two filters. I get a, I get a good idea of how many people are coming in, and how many people are no showing, and I can act on those as they happen. So hopefully you found this video useful. Dive into those widgets, create what you want, see what the information is. There are limitations, but for the most part, the sky is the limit. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.